We're going into the storm. <sighs> Come down. We are. We're in the eye of the storm. True. Or in this case, behind the storm. True. Hey everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude here with Serrano's J to review Into the Storm. What's Into the Storm about? It's about these researchers are discovering like how the the storms will appear and they're discovering like where exactly where they're gonna appear because they have all these expensive equipment. Yeah. Uh, where it's like more than like. I guess a mansion or something. And it's like the biggest storm ever. Yeah. And what they're trying to get, it's like the big, biggest storm. And they're trying to get in the middle of it, of the of the storm of it. Yeah. Because they want people to see how the the inside of the storm looks like. So they could, I guess, get famous. Because they'd be yeah. like the only ones to manage to get into it. So they would call it like the eye, yeah, like the eye storm or something like that. Because the reason they want to do it so they can like prove like how it looks like from the inside and that it looks like it's beautiful yeah. so they don't want people to try and risk their own life to try and do it yeah because they already have all the equipment they care more to film this big storm for their documentary yeah they they only care about the the storm instead of other people's life yeah so going into the storm get it oh anyways yeah going in, <laughs> going into this film i honestly eh, i was so and so in it i mean the trailers didn't look bad to me my problem was just how some of the visuals looked especially like with the fire tornadoes i was just not really impressed by that and uh the movie i was just like eh. but you know i went into this movie you know giving it a chance how did you feel going into the movie hey didn't like it at first because you know on a small screen yeah. it didn't make me more it didn't make you at the edge of your seat or anything yeah it didn't make me to go like off my seat that i should go and watch it permanent like like to go waste my money on it yeah but luckily you didn't because you got to go with me to the event screen yes <laughs> and um coming out of it i gotta say surprisingly i really liked into the storm and you I liked it because it's. Uh, I liked it the way like how it looks on a bigger screen. Yeah, like you're like more immersed into it. Yeah, because the way like how it looks bigger. The acting's actually really good. The actor from the Hobbit films that plays Thorin, he's in it. The actress who played Laurie from The Walking Dead is actually in it. And, of course, Nathan Chris from my car is in it. The rest are unknown to me. But the actors actually did a really good job, in my opinion. I, I didn't really think there was any bad ones. Even the actors who played the rednecks, I thought, did a really good job. They were, stu <laughs> they were stupid. They, were, uh, they literally were not scared at all, man. Yeah, those are my favorite characters. <laughs> How did you feel about the acting? I think they did good. Even though the characters who does the hillbillies, even though they were being stupid. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I guess like the other characters, the ones that are brothers. Yeah. The main ones. I thought it was hilarious because you know, one brother is trying to get you know this girl, I like, guess the lover of his life. His life. Yeah. But he was too, I guess, scared. A uh, shy. Yeah, shy or a little chicken, or a little chicken. I guess. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. But the brother, I guess the younger brother, convinced him to try and go and do, do something for her. And uh, I'll be honest, I actually enjoyed that older brother, right? It's the older brother? Yeah. Yeah, totally. the older brother trying to get over his fears with talking to this girl. And, you know, as the movie progresses, you see them bond a little. And I actually got to admit, I actually bond into their little chemistry, their little yeah. bonding. I actually found that cute. I actually thought that was one of the nice touches to the film. Yeah, I agree. And then the visual effects. Well, how are the visual effects exactly? The tornadoes look really realistic. Mm -hmm. Like, like wow. I, I can't imagine what kind of technology they used. But the tornadoes look really good, really convincing. In fact, every time a storm is happening, like for example, 
that scene where everyone's in the school and they're like holding on tight that was like really intense to me and then of course the final 20 minutes with this huge tornado that one was really exciting to me and that's something i did not expect i did not expect the storm scenes to like have me like at the edge of my seat like really grab me you know yeah the effects i liked it because it made me like believe like that it was actually happening yeah and, it felt like it was like based on a true story, even though it wasn't. The movie just kind of gives you that what if feeling, like, like what if we were dealing with the tornadoes and all that stuff. Yeah, like how it would come to like if it ever comes. Yeah, that's true. I really uh, the movie does make you scared for the characters. Well, in my opinion, it does. I don't know about others, but in my opinion, it makes it make me uh, care about the characters. It made me f feel scared for the characters. And the characters each surprisingly had their own backstory. Like, I didn't expect them to go in depth with the characters, yeah. but they actually did. And because of that, it actually makes you care for the characters and where they're coming from. So yeah. I thought the film did a good job at that. I agree. And I like the way they, they made it, like, they should get, I guess, more closer to what they yeah. used to be. And it made them believe, like, oh, like, you should enjoy the last moments, even though it's could be short or not. I thought the film did really good at presenting that. You need to enjoy the good moments, even though it's not going to be the best, but at least enjoy it for the last, because you never know it could come or not. Yeah, that's true. And then the writing and the storyline for the film. I actually thought the writing and the storyline was very well handled. Like I said, how it blends with the storm scenes, the storyline with these researchers of the storms trying to film all this stuff just for the documentary. The film even adds humor here and there, especially when it comes to the rednecks. That's when the humor really comes in. Yeah, yeah. In my opinion, at least it does. I definitely felt scared whenever the storm scenes were happening. But I actually thought the writing was really good and it was well directed too. I actually found it interesting how the film has like that documentary feel. But in other scenes it's like found footage where you yeah. have other characters holding the camera and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. So it's all like half found footage, half documentary like movie. I guess it's like, funny and good at the same time because it makes me like, oh, what it, or they should do it like at the, their point of view. Yeah. Like at least holding a camera camera that they going by their movements not by the uh you know by the staff like how it should be exactly they're going by they should like even though it's going by the exactly they should be but it's kind of funny how they like how they want them to react even though the characters were holding it they it didn't feel like too shaky around like, really, the only shaky thing is maybe, like, the beginning, the opening scene of the movie. Yeah. But that's really the only shaky thing I could really think of. Yeah. I like the way they made it, like, more family-family, I guess. Yeah, it has the storms, but I wouldn't say the film has anything too, I guess, graphic. I think families should be able to enjoy this, like, especially if you enjoy disaster movies. If you take your kids to see it, it's fine. They might find the storm uh, moments intense, but I think if you have kids that can handle like the storm scenes or disaster movies in general, then I think yeah, it could be a good family movie in that sense. Yeah, that depends like how old your kid is. Yeah, exactly. Tamara J, did you have any flaws with the movie? Well, I think I consider flaws the uh, the guy who wanted to quit. The guy, oh. who, the guy who wanted to quit at first. Oh, yeah, there, there was a character that wanted to back out of the whole thing. Yeah, and the, and the guy didn't really care that much. He didn't show that much emotion into it. My only flaws with Into the Storm, I don't have that much, actually. But my only flaws I could point out is that there were a couple of dumb moments. Like, one moment there's a tornado, and all of a sudden, the next moment, the tornado's all of a sudden gone. Oh, yeah. It's just all like, it's not likely for a tornado to disappear that quickly. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's another one. Like, <laughs> like have, uh, the, the other one is having multiple tornadoes coming at so quickly. Yeah. Like, having five or four at the same time. Yeah, that that was a little weird right there. It's Mother Nature, but that's a totally different story if they would have put it like that. But, like, if it wasn't in the story, yeah, like, what's the point of it? And the final flaw I had with the movie is how it's all like, this is kind of a mild spoiler, but 
how does pretty much everyone survive the storm? Yeah. Like, pretty much everyone survives the storm. Like, you didn't hear about the news saying, like, you didn't hear the news, like, how many people died. Yeah, exactly. The film didn't even go into details about, like, the deaths of people or anything. So it's all like, okay, I guess pretty much everyone survived the storm. So, overall, Into the Storm is one of the biggest surprises I've seen this year. I did not expect to enjoy the film this much, but I really liked it. I cared for the characters. I like Nathan Cress's character because he's all sarcastic, yeah. you know? So Nathan Cress, the guy from iCarly, he actually did a really good job in the film. Really good storyline, really intense edge of your seat storm scenes. It has funny moments and it was really fun. Yeah, it surprised me like how everything went from the beginning to the end. Yeah, that's true. So overall, I'm going to rate Into the Storm. Really high, actually. I'm going to give it three and a half out of four stars. What would you rate Into the Storm? Four and a half. So we both gave it really high ratings. Pretty much. Thank you for reviewing Into the Storm with me, Smarty J. No problem. Anytime. And remember, everyone, watch out for those tornadoes. <sighs>